Hi guys, this is Kalura Hudson of While They Play Designs. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create the garter tab used for a crescent shawl. And this is the garter tab that I use for the Bloomscape shawl that I'm showing right here. I'll just get that into frame. The garter tab is this series of garter stitches that runs right along here. And as you can see, it just gives a nice flat line where we can start our crescent shape of our shawl. So I'm gonna show you how to create that. So for this pattern, it's worked on circular needles. Um, that way you can flex your, your tab as you're working your shawl. So I'm gonna start with these circulars. And the first thing we're gonna do is create a slip knot or a backwards loop. And we're just going to cast on three stitches as our foundation. And then we will turn our work. Get this where you guys can see it better. And I'm going to actually knit back and forth for 11 rows. So I've worked 10 rows and I'm about to do the 11th row. And then what we're going to do is drop the other side of our circular and we're going to rotate our work 90 degrees. So we're looking at the side of those 11 rows. And if you count, we have one, two, three, four, five garter bumps. And we're going to be picking up a stitch in each of those bumps. But before we do that, we're going to create a yarn over on both sides of those five stitches that we're going to pick up. So I want to make these pretty loose um, because of the way I work my increases in this crescent shawl pattern. So I'm going to yarn over my needle three times. And that's just going to give me a lot of extra room to work into on the return row. So once we've done our three yarn overs, I'm going to very carefully insert the needle, making sure to hold on to those three yarn overs so they don't come off. We're going to go into that first purl bump and pick up a stitch. So that's one. And then we're going to go into the second purl ridge, pick up a stitch. That's two. And then the third pick up a stitch, that's three. And then the fourth ridge, and then the fifth ridge, right there. Now that we've picked up those five stitches from those five ridges, we're going to do three more yarn overs. So there's our three. And then you're gonna rotate again that tab of 11 rows, and we're gonna pick up three stitches from the three that we cast it on. And it's kind of difficult to see, but you can rotate your work. And if you want, when you cast on your three stitches, you can mark those with little stitch markers if that helps you, but you can kind of see those three bumps. So I'm just gonna rotate my work and again, hold on to those three yarn overs. I'm gonna pick up one, two, and three. Okay, there we go. So what this does, I'll just place these all on my circular needle so you guys can see better. We've created that shape at the very center of that shawl. I'm just gonna put that down for just a second here so I can show that to you guys again. Right there in the center of our shawl, this is the shape that we've created. We have that the series of three yarn overs, and then we picked up five stitches, and then we have these three yarn overs, and then our three garter stitches to the left and to the right. Okay, so that is our first step, or our first, um, yeah, our first step of our garter tab, and that happens to be on the right side of the tab. Now we're going to turn our work to the wrong side and we're just going to work a setup row before we uh, start our chart for this particular pattern. So for our setup row, we're going to knit those first three stitches of that garter tab. And now we've reached those three yarn overs. 
and we're simply going to go in pearlwise with our needle and pull those off and you can see that's nice and loose we're going to place that back pearlwise onto our left hand needle and now we're going to work our increase which is a knit one yarn over knit one and then pull that off so that's our first increase and now our next five stitches that we picked up from those ridges are just going to be purled. So one, two, three, four, five. And now we've reached that second series of three yarn overs. So again, we're gonna go in purl wise and pull those off, place them back on the left hand needle, and then do our increase. Knit one, yarn over, knit one. So that's our second increase for the left side of the shawl. And now we have those last three stitches that we picked up from the garter or from the cast on, and you just knit those. Okay, so we have worked that setup row. And again, I'm just gonna put this on my circular needles and stretch it out for you guys to see. You can see that large yarn over there and then the five stitches in the middle and then the large yarn over on the left side. So this is going to create the very beginning of our crescent shawl for this pattern. So I hope this technique helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.